Hi everyone, today we'll be looking at Colab Notebook that takes in textual prompt and the notebook generates a photorealistic image based on the text. Impressive. We could try something like a hot girl. Oh no, I think we're going for literally a hot dog instead. Before I guide you through the Colab Notebook, learn about how this kind of image synthesis is possible with diffusion model, how and with what data was it trained on, limitation and its competitors like DALI, let's take a moment to thank to the authors and contributors for Glade. If you visit the paper for Glade, you will come across many examples that can give you an idea of what's possible with the model. These are the text prompt given and the image generated by the model. We can see here Einstein dressed in Superman costume and painting of some psychedelic hamsters. What surprises me is the variety of style the model can generate from photorealistic image, oil painting, uh, pixel art, crayon drawings, and many more. Let's get back to the notebook itself. You can grab the link to this collab notebook in the description, which is simplified for your convenience. Run the first cell to configure the Glade on Colab. This should get the dependencies, clone the code, and download the pre-trained model. After about 2 minutes, the cell should be completed. In the next cell, you need to type your prompt and execute the cell, and that's it. You will first see a 64 by 64 pixel image, then it is upscaled to 256 by 256 pixels. If you don't like the image you just created and you want to add a few things in the image at a particular spot to match more complex prompts, don't worry comrades. Next week, we'll be looking at conditional in painting with Glade, which is capable of making realistic edits to an existing image based on the text prompt. This allows you to iteratively improve and edit your output by painting out a portion of an image and replacing or adding objects and creatures based on the text prompt. So you better subscribe now. In many generative applications like image synthesis, we can see GANs being used extensively, but Glade is based on diffusion model, which is known to generate superior image quality. When we train a diffusion model, we have an image dataset, and for each image in the dataset, we go through n steps, adding a small amount of random noise every time. After infinitively many steps, the output becomes completely noise with normal distribution like this. Since on each successive step, only small noise is added, hence the idea is to train a model that takes in the, some intermediate image and predicts the previous step image that is slightly sharper. If we repeat this reverse process to predict the previous sharper image starting from random noise almost infinitely many times, we can generate some photorealistic image given only noise. This is the basis of diffusion model. Note that in each step, the model is actually predicting the noise that needs to be reduced to get the previous step image. But that's not all. We can guide our diffusion model to generate a certain kind of image. Let's start again with the image dataset, but given the class labels for each image this time. The model would be trained to predict the previous sharper image, given the image with noise, the time step, and the class label for the image. For example, in this case, the image label would be cat. This would be the general architecture of Glade. We have a text network that takes the text prompt, and we have our diffusion network, which takes the noisy image and the text feature from the text network, and the result is a sharper image. Glade is trained with about 3.5 billion parameters for text-based guided diffusion model, which generates image of 64 by 64 pixel, 
followed by 1.5 billion parameter model for text-based conditional upsampling diffusion model to 256 by 256 pixel image. However, they didn't release the big model for safety concerns. If you are still hungry for nitty gritty details, there is a 42 minutes long video on YouTube about Glade. You will definitely enjoy it. I'm trying to monetize my channel and be able to pay for a cup of coffee. So I am coming up with many exciting videos like in painting, conditional in painting, uh, audio driven facial animation, style gan, style clip and many more all in simplified collab notebooks so i would very appreciate your support and especially your feedback on what you like and hate so i could come up with a better approaches to presentation and topics for the videos so if you like my videos and want them coming please spread this video like wildfire hit that like button subscribe and ring that bell you could also binge our previous videos like deface for facial expression, cloning someone's voice, upscampling tiny images, coloring old black and white pictures, and making slow-mo video from regular video files, and many more. So have a great day. Thank you.